welcome back to the channel today I want to take a look at working with raw files in Lightroom um, specifically using the Sony um, camera we are running into a little bit of issues in terms of importation of the raw files and so the file extension um, that I'm used to for file for raw files normally under an icon it's the NEF that NEF ending um, I know that there is a that DNG ending and now I'm noticing that for Sony uh, the raw files are labeled as a that ARW um, extension which um, has been giving me a little bit of issue in terms of importation I've been looking online for different tools that you can use to incorporate into the older version of Lightroom and of course the easiest option is to just update your Lightroom right but in my case I'm used to this version of Lightroom so I'm finding a way to just simply import in the ARW um, the exif tool that is recommended mostly online comes with a little bit of command that you have to establish and so it makes it difficult for the average user to be able to execute so i thought that one of the best option is actually to go ahead and convert the files into another file extension which is still raw and that's it that dng so to get this done we would we would have to go into um download the dng converter and the adobe um, digital negative converter and this is found of course on adobe's website under their help area and you can download the windows version if you're using windows or the mac version now i have already downloaded this um, it's about 465 megabytes there about and the installation is pretty straightforward so the problem again um, we're looking to fix is that whenever we open a Lightroom, say for example, I was trying to import in um, some pictures that I took earlier today, then it would return um, this error where the preview is unavailable for uh, this file. So you will notice that also when you're just previewing it on the computer, it does the same thing where you're only able to see um the actual file themselves that are labeled as jpeg but you're not able to see the arw so it's it's not previewable if that's a word um so we want to also get these to preview and so the step for that is that again you'll download the dng converter and once you have that opened up um this is the steps that you go through so it asks you to select the image to convert or images to convert so you go ahead and you select the folder um, where your files are located. I have my one in Sony 6400 folder um, Select the location to save and so I'll save it within the same folder I will just create a new folder called DNG files And again keep in mind that these are kind of taking up space car raw files are pretty big um, So I'll select that to save in document name um, this is okay I'll just have it convert and keep whatever name there is right uh, I am thinking that maybe because you're converting from one raw format for Sony to the other that you might lose some um, actual quality but not the case from what I've read um, it probably or it stays the same in terms of the quality that you're getting so don't feel like you're losing quality or maybe maybe you are in some in some case but i'm thinking that the quality stays the same it's just converting one raw image into the other one and it's using the that dng ending which lightroom definitely recognizes and um, again the reason we're doing this is because the version of lightroom that i'm using is not able to download the arw so yes it might be easier to simply upgrade but this is a workaround for people who have the older version of lightroom and are not able to update it so once we have that we can then click on convert and it will do its thing and it starts processing those images and putting them into our folder with DNG files so it's a little bit of image it'll take a, a little while to convert all and once you have that you can see that the images already show up as a that DNG file which is what if I wanted to edit these in Lightroom I could do so so now I should be able to import these into um, Lightroom so let me cancel that I will add folder and 
here are my DNG files. And now I can import those into Lightroom and make changes to the files as I see fit. So I'm importing them. I'm going to develop and there I can do whatever manipulation I want now on this particular image. If there's any change I see that I may need to make to make these a lot better. So that's basically it that we are able to simply convert the ARW extensions into a that DNG file which is usable by Lightroom and remember that file extensions for raw files um, apparently they are different for the different camera manufacturers and so just pay attention to that and of course I think Lightroom also um, with the updates will allow you to simply import these in very easily so that's it remember that if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you're watching this please go hit that subscribe button um, hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I push out new videos um, this is another one of my video where I talk about some of the things that you know I would get stuck on on a daily basis or some problems that I run into that I feel like the solutions that were out there they are just a little bit too hard to understand for the average person and so this is a way of making it easier if you have any comments to share please do so in the comment section below and like always guys go geek yourself